Oh, I've missed you. It's been so long. It's only been a week, but I've still missed you. Dude, why is my garage so dirty? It's ridiculous. Stuff everywhere. I just gotta take a minute, I gotta take a minute here. This thing is just so beautiful. All right guys, I'm gonna be giving you my 90 day assessment of my Suzuki GSX-R600 coming up. All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's me, Eric B. And if you are new to the channel, be sure to like and subscribe and hit that bell notification for all of my latest content. So what I wanna do is not really a long-term review, I guess, but I've had this bike for about three months now. And I just wanna kinda do a quick little assessment of you know how I like it so far. I've had the R3 before this, and then I've had the opportunity to ride a couple 1000s as well. So there's, not a whole lot that I don't like about this bike. I mean, I love the way this thing looks. You know, I can never get over the styling at all. Um, I just like the way that it rides, everything. Um, there are some things that I've learned over the course of the time that I've had it that I don't like. And then I can kind of compare it to some of the other bikes that I've ridden as well. So um, other than that, let's get to it. All right, guys, to start off with, I like the display that's on this bike already. Um, it's nothing new and awesome like those uh, gorgeous TFT displays that you may see on some of the newer bikes, but I do like an analog tack and, you know, just having a speedometer and a time on it, I mean, it's good enough for me. I, I, I don't have the gear indicator or uh, um, fuel gauge or anything that some people complain about, but it is what it is. It's a 2005, so, um, yeah. <laughs> So let's talk about the sound. So I'm a big stickler when it comes to the way the bike sounds. And I really love the way that the 600 and some of the other thousand sound, but then you also have, you know, your V4s and then uh, your 300cc bikes and how they sound. And I still love the way that this bike sounds. No complaint there. Now I've ridden the, uh, the Apria RSV4 and then I've heard, you know, how the Ducati sounds, the, the Pinigali, um, and then the R1. Those have a distinct sound to them, and I like them, but I still, you know, like the normal four-cylinder sound of, uh, of a 600. All right, as we go into the Ergos, and just how this bike feels when you ride it, I have not had one complaint about how this bike feels um, in the comfort department. Just because it's a Suzuki, um, the seat is comfortable, um, the riding position isn't too bad, and compared to some of the other ones that I've ridden, like the, uh, the CBR and the Aprilia, those bikes are more aggressive. All right, so far as the power goes, yes, the 1000s are gonna be a lot more powerful. They're gonna have a lot more uh, bottom end and top end. The 600 has a lot of top end, in my opinion, not a whole lot of bottom end and after riding those and jumping back on this and I try to get into it it doesn't feel as strong <laughs> anymore um, but it's still plenty for the street so you know you, you got guys that are wondering hey can I start off on a 600 or a 1000 and I always say start off on a 300 but you can definitely do something like an older 600 um, or the newer bikes because they have rider modes but I think this is still plenty of power for the street and for my needs right now. So even if I was to get a 1000, I would still keep this bike and still, you know, have some fun with it. I love the handling of this bike. Now that I've gotten used to it, I can throw this thing around. I can lean it over in the, in the curves and everything. Some of the newer, bigger 1000s was a little bit different for me. I don't know if it's because they're just a little bit heavier um, or a lot of the technology that's built into it, but I think it's just something I'd have to get used to. 
since this bike has no kind of rider aids, no technology or anything built into it, and you kind of, I like that because it makes you actually ride the bike instead of the bike trying to, you know, aid you in, in traction and, and wheelie control and, and, um, and stuff like that. I, I think some of them even have like IMUs built into it and things like that, so that's what I like about the older bikes. This bike gets pretty decent gas mileage. Um, I, I can usually go to about 120 miles before the gas light comes on, and then I, I can go a little bit further than that. Maybe I, I might go to 130. Sometimes I think once I've hit 140 miles before I uh, actually went to the to the gas station to fill up, and it only cost me ten dollars to fill this thing up. When it comes to just cost of ownership of this bike, I like the Suzuki just because I have not had an issue with this bike yet. I've done the initial maintenance on it when I first got it. I changed the oil, I uh, changed the spark plugs, you know, I've done things like a, a chain adjustment, stuff like that myself. But I like the older bikes and I like the 600 because it's easy to work on and I do all my uh, maintenance myself. So that's the only thing about getting the newer bike, especially if you get a European bike, you're gonna be taking that thing to the shop a lot and you're probably gonna be paying a little bit more. But yeah, since I've owned this bike, I have not had any issues with it at all. I just get on it, I can ride, and then if I need to do, you know, little adjustments here and there or, or something like that, you know, then I can, I can make it happen. Just nothing really, really major with it. All right, so on the newer bikes, they have um, quick shifters, and stuff like that. Um, this bike, I still, you know, obviously have to use the clutch. That's not an issue. And then you can even do some uh, clutchless shifting and stuff like that. I've done it a couple times, but I tend not to do it. I just stay with using the clutch. But the transmission has always been smooth. Everything's been good. I will say the brakes aren't the greatest. After riding some of the other ones, uh, they have better brakes, especially the Aprilia, because they had the Brembos on it. I think if I did a brake pad upgrade and some steel braided brake lines, I think the braking on this bike would be a little bit better. This is my first time doing some night moto vlogging. See how it turns out. So what I was saying about not having a gear indicator or a fuel gauge, that's always all good. Um, a fuel gauge you really don't need. I mean, if you already know after a while how many miles it's going to be till your gas light comes on, you can always just pay attention to the mileage and then um, and then the gas light comes on okay I gotta go get gas I mean it's too easy um, as far as the gear I, now I would like to have a gear indicator because I always forget what gear I'm in it happens all the time I try to keep track of it but then sometimes you just forget so that's one little one little thing I'd like to have if I could get it on this bike Things like a quick shifter, stuff like that, you can have that. You can buy that aftermarket and get it installed. Um, once again, like the biggest thing is all the rider aids and stuff you have on the newer bikes. On our ones, you, you don't have, you, you don't need it. It helps. I think some people will argue with me. I mean, it does help like with the track and stuff like that. Um, I guess the traction control if you're riding wet weather and the wheelie control is uh, definitely a plus too if you have a, a more powerful bike and it likes to stand up on you. But this thing, it's a 600 and I really don't have that much of a problem with this standing up at all. Um, I don't think it ever has. <laughs> so when I rode that 1000, man, that thing, it stood up on me. Um, the lights on this bike, aren't too bad it's like I said it's, it's older so it may not throw a beam as far as uh, some of the newer ones but it still looks pretty good I mean that's the high beam low beam I, I don't have a problem with ever seeing you know where I'm going uh, riding at night so and I also have the uh, the standard bulb in it too I've, I've wanted to upgrade to maybe an HID or a, or, or a good LED I think I'm just gonna keep what I got for right now now, if I ever get a newer bike, like a 1000 or something like that, would I ever get rid of this bike? To be honest with you, I don't want to get rid of this bike. I would keep this bike and possibly turn it into a track bike. Um, this thing is, is awesome. I, I like it. I think this is a very good, very good body style and a very good year for the Gixxer 600. Oh, by the way, I currently have about, I think I'm almost 40,000 miles on this bike. So that just goes to show that if you take care of it, um, 
you know, it can last you a long time. I've been all in my bag. You been all in my business. You be all in your feelings. I've been all in them trenches. I've been all in my bag. You be all in my business. No, they notice me flexing. Fit in all in my fitness. I've been all in my bag. You been all in my business. You be all in your feelings. I've been all in them trenches. I've been all in my bag. You be all in my business. No, they notice me flexing. Fit in all of my fitness My chain dance on my head big My top heavy, I let it down See me shining, they hating on me They mean mugging Alright guys, that's going to do it for me I know it was really quick But I just wanted to give you a quick overview Of my assessment of having this bike For a little bit longer than 30 days And just kind of compare it to some of the other things That uh, I've ridden as well So If you don't have a Gixxer 600 K4 K5 man you need to look at getting one especially if you're start if this is your first 600 something like this is perfect um even something like an R6 or an old CBR or something like that um do it man it's cheap you know you don't have to freaking have a payment on a bike or anything like that you can pay cash for this thing um the insurance is cheap like i said depending on how old you are and just the uh the maintenance the ease of maintenance on this thing is awesome too so check it out but yeah be sure to like and subscribe. Leave me a comment below, guys. Let me know what you think, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.